Good afternoon, everyone. Happy new release day. In addition to the other the f other Panini release, Panini also released a baseball product right here. 2018 uh, Donruss baseball right here. Eight box, half case, random team break number one. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. We got a couple combo teams right here. We got Marlins, uh, Blue Jays, Pirates, and Rays. Let's randomize each list. Ten times. Four and a six. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Hayes on the pole and Chris in the 28th spot. 28 because we comboed those two teams, remember? We got ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, and ten. Right? Four and a six, ten times. There we go. So after ten times, we have the Cardinals on top and the Mariners on the bottom. Folks, we have a uh, Otani bounty in this break. If we pull an Otani autograph, not only would that make. Who, who has the Angels in this? Not only would that make Jeffrey very happy. It should make everybody happy because we're randomizing $150 of break credit. Top three get 50 bucks each. There you go. I, I mean, Jeffrey could win again. Could win break credit again. So so double the wins right there. So Hayes, you have the Cardinals. Chris with the Astros. Will with the Padres. Rich with the Pirates and Rays. Uh, Michael, you have the Rangers. Jeffrey, again, Angels. Dan Maddox with the Cubs. DVD, Last Spot Mojo, Braves. EA with the Orioles. Michael G., uh, well, Michael Gallucci, you have the Rangers. Michael Gabba, you have the Diamondbacks. They have the same middle initial, too. Bill with the uh, combo team, Marlins, Blue Jays. Will with the Mets. Ryan, you got my Dodgers. Rich with the Giants. EA Sports, it's in the game with the Royals. Ryan, you have the Red Sox and the Brew Crew. Sky with the A's. EA with the Tigers. Hayes with the Phillies. EA with the Reds. D-Mac with the White Sox. Karen, you got the Twins. I oh, usually buy the Twins, don't you, Karen? You got Juan with the uh, Nationals. Charles with the Indians, Chad with the Yankees, Kip Kip Hooray with the Rockies, and Chris with the Mariners. Let's alphabetize. Let's put that all together right here. And uh, feel free to trade, folks, if you want to. Now, hopefully, everybody is, is at the current point of the stream. Sometimes YouTube will knock you back a little bit. But don't lag behind. Don't miss a trade. Don't miss a hit. Don't lag behind. Make sure that you're live always. All right, so while people are considering trades, uh, EA's got the Tigers and Royals for trade, by the way. Uh, I Honestly, I did not look at the checklist. So I don't know what special things are there aside from the Otani. Uh, Michael G is gonna. Michael Gabby is gonna try the old Arizona Diamondbacks for Angels trade. Good luck with that one. It's worth a shot, though. All right. So there's eight boxes on the left side. Eight boxes on the right side. We'll roll the die. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. I'll use this one. Just give myself a little more room to roll that die. There you go. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this side we will reserve for uh, next time. We only have one case of this, by the way. So this this second half right here is our last break. So just FYI. So this will be for, I'm going to mark all these RT2. It's like an appetizer, Joe. Remember you used to use the word appetizer? The appetizer? I don't know if this is an appetizer. This is eight boxes, 24 packs per box. Wow. It's a little more. This is like stuffing. <laughs> this is like having too much bread before the main course. All right. <laughs> Bread's good, too. Bread's good. What about those carbs, folks? We're going to be running a marathon later. All right, let's slide this over. So we got 
four boxes here, four boxes there. This is what the boxes look like. We've got Bellinger on the cover. Three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. So they kind of reconfigured this a little bit, which is, oh, we kind of gave it a shot. It's a little bit friendlier than uh, previous years, breaking wise. All right. So according to the checklist, there are variations of the base cards. Well, are they easy to spot? Oh, some of them are going to be easier to spot. They'll have nicknames in the top left hand, uh, yeah, top left hand corner. What are the other variations? Are there any other variations? Um, maybe we'll. All right, well, yeah, we'll have the shipping team look out for those variations. Oh, okay, there's the there's the base variation set and checklist on cardboardconnection.com. All right. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any trade, so we'll we'll go ahead and print that out. We'll try. I'll try to spot as many variations as possible as we go along, but I think a lot of those are going to be determined by the back of the card, perhaps. Uh, trade window closed, by the way. Let's close up that trade window. Oh, is this it? TJ saying this is the set where Otani signed uh, the card in both languages, both English and Japanese? That's pretty cool. All right, well, so we'll look out for those. Remember, everyone wins if we pull an Otani autograph. Got an Otani bounty going on. All right, there it is. Good luck, folks. So this break is going to take a minute or two, so relax, get settled in. A vet base does not ship in this. And we will we will do our best to spot all the uh, all the variations and whatnot too. FYI, the San Diego Chicken does not go to the San Diego Padres. Believe it or not, they do not have the rights to this guy. So that that's uh, will be randomized to. We'll have a non like sports spot basically or a other spot. And we'll randomize the uh, the other spot as a lot. And then, let's say if that San Diego chicken card was serial number, then that will get randomized separately as its own individual thing, just because it's a little more especial. Pop all these open. I think there was only one team left in uh, the next pick your team of the brand new Contenders Optic. So I'm sure that will go off uh, after this is done. This might take a little bit of time. I'll get a better idea once I finish this, uh, this box. Do I see a printing plate in there already? Let's 
adjust this fan here too. It's kind of warm. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. So I think these are variations, Cluebot and KB. And we'll set those aside. We got Travis Swaggerty out of 349. So we'll have these Team USA cards as a lot too. And there's the printing plate. Wow. It's Joey Votto. Votto-matic. Nice printing plate for EA Sports and the Reds. Nice Joey Votto. EA Sports to the game. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. So let's get let's keep track of these extra things here. All right, so on the randomizer, the other stuff, which is like this, will be as a lot, and then the Team USA, like that, will go in as a lot. Um, if there's anything like, you know what? Yeah, that's just how we're gonna do it, even if it's serial number, that, that'll just be easier. If it's an autograph, then we'll maybe we'll separate those out. No, we're not gonna separate those out. They'll just be a lot. <laughs> that'll just make life easier for everybody. All right, there's Max Scherzer. Nice for the Nationals. Out of 9.99, our sorters are going to hate the, all these variations. They may they they may reach a decision on their own to just send everything. We only have two breaks of this, so All right, and our first hit out of here is Alex Bregman. That'll go to the Astros. That goes to Chris Parent. Here. There's Corey Seeger to 500. Is it? Do they also call him the Lion as well? Noah Syndergaard. Thor would have been a little more appropriate. And there's uh, Robbie Alomar. Nice to 474. have here we have a uh, elite series Bryce Harper to 349 and right here promising prose material Trace Thompson Clay's brother oh because of Noah Syndergaard's main that's why line I got it okay I see that's for my Dodgers that goes to Ryan Fisher
We've got Corey Kluber out of 225. The Kraken. I kind of like that one for Gary Sanchez. That's Mike Trout to... Sorry about that. Mike Trout Diamond Kings to 49. And we've got Manny Margot, Relic and Auto. Promising Pros Materials Signatures. Manuel Margot for the Padres. That goes to Bulldog Fan, Will, with that one. Nice. Not numbered, but he definitely is a promising pro, actually. He's going to get a lot of time out there. Nice. Steel Curtain was just talking about this. Some players have more than one nickname. I know, I've just been pulling all those nickname cards right here. There's All Rise, New York 12th Judicial District. It's pretty good. So we'll, I'll try to spot as many of those as possible as we go along. And we've got, who do we have here? We've got Signature Series, Zach Granite, 20 out of 25. That'll be for the Twins. That's for Karen. There you go, Karen. We've got Aaron Judge right here out of 999. Long ball leaders, definitely. And there we go. That's the end of the first box. It's a lot of stuff to unpack here. So it looks like, timing-wise, it's going to take about an hour or so. So we'll scoot these over here. This will represent the randomizer for the Team USA card. And this will represent the randomizer for the other stuff. So once again, we're uh, taking everything. That's this. That's other, non-baseball. And all the Team USA, all is one lot. We'll randomize them out there. Next box. Now that I've got a better idea of what's in here, we move it, probably try to move a little bit more quickly too. Yeah, the well, there's a lot of variations and a lot of different inserts here. So my guess is that it might just might be easier for them to just ship everything, but. Technically, as it stands now, vet base is not shit. But anything that doesn't look like like this basically is an insert. So this stuff should ship too, I think. there folks. Otani hunting. Let's just keep that in mind. We're hunting for Otani. What's up Callum? What's going on? Uh, the Landon, sorry I missed your question there earlier. The autos on Contenders Optic football, uh, some of them are stickers but most of the higher end autos are on par. So Kareem Hunt, 
was on card. Mitch Trubisky was on card. And like the, the next tier of rookies would be uh, are, are on stickers. And I think insert autos are on stickers as well. But most, most of the ones that are the, are the big names are going to be on card. All right. Out of this world, Mickey Mantle to 249. I guess these ones with the, their middle names in there too. Big Hurt. And we've got still Royals edition of Eric Hosmer. Got Tyler Frank, another Team USA card. Harmon Killebrew, uh, that is out of 500. That's about how many home runs he has. Eric Thames, out of, that's gotta be numbered, right? There it is, out of 199. So we'll sleeve and top load all those up before they go out. There's the Ryan Express. Inspiration for the Big Hit Express. Manny Margot. Got J Hap and Ian Hap was right next to each other. And we've got Press Proof, 78 out of 99, Matt Carpenter. Nice one for the Cardinals. There's Lion again. Got out of this world, Goldie. Out of 999. And we've got Brett Phillips. Diamond collection relic, Brett Phillips. Crack, it always cracks me up. We've got Corey Kluber. I thought it was going to be an autograph. No, 265. Klubot. This is four variations in each box. But they're all uh, nicknames. So I think there's like photo variations and stuff too. Middle no, name no, variations. 25 variations. Two of them are photo, black and white. Oh, okay, okay. And then the other are nicknames. Oh, okay. Well, then I think the shipping team's got it on lock, folks. Chris Bryan's like black and white. There's no Syndergaard to 106. That's about how fast he throws. And we've got Brian Johnson for the Red Sox. There's your promising pros, relic and auto. Ziggy, what's going on? Yeah, well, it'll be good if uh, if we pull some Otani ink because then everybody has a chance at $150 of break credit. Yeah, and I th and I think it's uh yeah, that's selling for a lot. Although this one person, Rory was saying this one person on eBay, their signature series Harrison Bader for the uh, Cardinals. That's an autograph for Hayes. Uh, Rory was saying earlier uh, that someone had sold a Otani autograph out of this set for like hundred and eighty bucks or something like that. Uh, Three forty nine, Chris Sale. It was like a buy it now or something. I think that person is going to regret that. All right, next box. I, I think that's what Rory said. He said you could look it up under sold items and see that buy it now. Now, I don't know if that person was, if it was an accident, maybe he forgot a zero. <laughs> 
Maybe he canceled that bid or something like that. I don't know. I don't know that story, but uh, all I know is that that's what Rory said, which is kind of crazy. But, I mean, they should go for much higher than that. Like a base auto. Would a base auto go for 1000 Out of this set? I don't know if it would go for 1000 would it? Maybe it does. I don't know. Yeah, Arthur says it was for one fifty. I'll I'll bet you that that someone just they forgot the zero and they're gonna cancel that bid. <laughs> they're gonna cancel that buy it now. It it really sounds like someone forgot a zero, basically like worst typo ever. I'll take the negative on that to save myself a thousand dollars. Everyone wins, folks. If, you, if we pull an Otani autograph out of here, then ever, we're giving away $150 of break credit. Top three get 50 bucks of break credit each. Uh, I saw CO Turtle say, if we pull more than one, is it another 150 bucks? Sure. The likelihood of that is is not very high. So yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll eat that if we pull two. I'll be happy to pull two autographs. TJ saying there are eight different Otani variations possible. Yeah, all that variation guides on cardboardconnection.com, folks. You can always double check there, spot all the different variations. There's like the sepia, Chris Bryant, a lot of black and white stuff. We've got different designs, different inserts. We have some with their middle names in there, some without their middle names. Iron Man's got number of games right there in a row. We've got Reyes Moranta signature series. Did I just jinx it, EA? Like I'm gonna pull two Otani autographs out of this half. There's Chris Sale out of 9.99. So I'm gonna try to breeze through this a little bit faster, folks, just in the interest of time. We're already way behind here. It's taking longer than I thought. There's Corey Seeger relic. This one's numbered 55 out of 99. Damn, I ran out of top loaders too. So there you go. So Dodgers with that one. Ryan Fisher with the old Corey Seager. All right, folks. We're going to have to start flying through these. So we'll leave it to the shipping team. Oh, you got, everyone saw all the different variations, so you get an idea of what you're going to expect. Um, oh, these are out of 25. I'll sleeve these, though, right away. Lower number. That'll be part of that Team USA randomizer. So I think everyone has an idea of what most of the variations are and what the vet base looks like. So we'll blow through these and we'll uh, leave it to the shipping team to sort that out, literally. And we'll hold on those, uh, on the hits, obviously. We'll, we'll linger on the hits. It's Chris Bryant to 199. We got Bellinger. Out of 149, long ball leaders. Who does everyone think is going to be the next uh, surprise? Will it be Reese Hoskins as he continue what he did last season? What does everyone think? Who Who is going to be the surprise? It's always a surprise. Promising Pros Materials. Another Brian Johnson for the 
Uh, Red Sox, that'll be for Ryan Fisher as well. There's always someone. Not, not a lot of people expected uh, Aaron Judge to become Aaron Judge. I don't think I've quite expected Cody Bellinger to play as well as he did. So quickly and then so consistently over the season. Who's everyone's, uh, everyone have any picks? Maybe hot takes on who the next big rookie is going to be this year? Besides Otani. I think whether Otani plays well or not, I think he's still going to sell well all season. Uh, there's Adam Frazier, promising pros, materials, and signatures. That'll be for the Pirates Rays combo. Rich with that one. Oh, right. I keep forgetting about Ronald Acuna for the Braves. That's one. That's a name that I should not be forgetting. Okay, that guy's gonna ball out. I think. There's Otani right here. Shohei Otani, one eleven out of nine ninety nine. I'll bet you this out of nine ninety nine would still sell for like ten bucks. <laughs> that's how crazy this stuff. Maybe even more. I don't know. So there he is as a hitter. That goes to the Angels, Jeffrey. Ronbo, what's going on? Did someone say Ronald? No, we were talking about Ron. Ronald Acuna. Not the czar. Not Rombo. Uh, Rory, no. No Otani auto as of yet. No bounty as of yet. Now, someone asked, a uh, CO Turtle, Andrew, asked that if we pull two Otani autos, would we give away double the money? I said yes. So now, not only are we rooting for one, I'm sure everyone's rooting for two. It's a lot of break I don't think that's. I think it's gonna be hard enough to find one. But hey, if something crazy happens, two gets pulled, I'll do it. And that'll stand for the next half as well, which is our last half. We don't have any more of this after that. All right, so back going back to the uh, the hot rookie of this year question because um, it's not just it's not just going to be Otani that's going to drive the hobby this year, right? Last year, uh, Aaron Judge, Cody Bellinger, this this in March seventh, two thousand seventeen, no one was predicting they'd be as hot as they were in the hobby. So EA Sports is guessing his predictions are not only Ronald Acuna but Nick Senzel. And then Eloy Jimenez, that, those are his three. Those are his three. Which is not a bad three. I think Eloy Jimenez, I'm on board with you on that. That was, uh, he, the White Sox got him in the trade, the Quintana, the Jose Quintana deal last year. And Eloy Jimenez was one of their top prospects. And I think with that young White Sox team, he's going to get opportunities to play. Uh, no worries, Rory. If you're in other breaks, uh, the other future ones, we'll try to pull some more. There's Alex Wood pitching out of the stretch this year out of 99, press proof for the Dodgers. There's Mike Trout. The, uh, the Millville Meteor out of 253. So a couple uh, Southern Californians here. Chris Sale. Mound Marvels out of 149. Oh, I saw like this and basically thought it was Shohei Otani. <laughs> Um, Arthur's thinking John Duplantier. TJ thinks he might be a, a year too early on that one. Gliber Torres is Joe Fagunas. Walker Bueller says TJ. 
That could be pretty good. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Rory's like, actually, you didn't hit me on auto, Joe. Reese. There he is. Signature Series Reese Hoskins. This might be a big one here, too. If he keeps it up. Philadelphia Phillies. Hayes with the Phillies. Rory saying Brinson could make an impact. Where have you got traded to? Rays, I think. It's Chris Sale to nine ninety nine. I think the White Sox will be pretty uh, will be pretty good this year. Better than people may think. Not playoff good, but Pedro Severino. Pros materials that goes to the Nationals. Juan with the Nationals. Dansby Swanson bouncing back in his second full season. I could see that. I think he had a good second half of last season, didn't he? Out of this world, Cody Bellinger out of 999. But that's what's exciting about baseball. You, you'll, you'll be able to figure out, uh, be able to figure out like there's gonna be there's always every year there's always some rookie that comes out of nowhere that'll blow up. There's George Brett to 9.99 that'll blow up and just be like, well, that's the one that everyone wants to chase out of 199. Uh, Ryan McMahon for the Rockies. Yeah, we're talking about playoffs. Yeah, we're not talking about playoffs for the for the White Sox, but gonna be a lot. I think they're gonna go over their win total. Josh Bell, relic. Pirates, rich. Rod Carew. For the Angels, out of three ninety nine. All right, halfway through this half case break. Let's set these over here. Let's move these over here. All right, next four boxes. So we're already at the 38 minute mark, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just speed this up a little bit. Hopefully, get this under the hour that I originally intended it to be. I think we can get there. We'll be going a little bit more quickly. We're basically, just holding on the uh, on the hits that are in here. So three hits per box. Yeah, I'm thinking. I think that the White Sox and the Padres will quietly be pretty good too. I think they could get over whatever their win totals are. I don't know what their win totals are, but I think they could get over their win totals. You know, like I kept saying, there, there's a reason why I think, I think the Padres have a pretty decent front office. I think there's a reason why they went for Hosmer you know, and signed it. I don't think it was out of like a, out of a need to spend money or a desperation move or anything like that. I think they genuinely think that their team is a lot closer than other people may think they are. I think they feel pretty good about their team. And I think, uh, I think they think their youngsters are a lot closer than people may think. They just need starting pitching. That, that, that might be the issue. But they're getting their offense in order. Hopefully by the time those hitters evolve, They'll find that pitching, I guess. But starting pitching, they got that's what they have to worry about before they can start competing. Uh, did Darvish pitch yesterday? I think he did. I think he pitched against the Dodgers. I think actually he had he put it put together a couple of really good innings, I think, from what I remember. I missed the start of the game, so.
All right, good luck, everybody. There's Chipper Jones out of uh, 49. There's uh, Nick, Sprang Nick Sprangle. Oh, did I accidentally click that? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so that was the first box. No, you didn't miss much. There's Chipper Jones out of 49. There's the uh, Team USA card out of 249. Odubel Herrera to uh, 239. David Paulino, relic for the Astros. That'll be for Chris Parent and the Strohs. Uh, no, no Nationals yet. I think there was like a couple, couple relics, but no, no other Nationals. Blank back variation. I like that. That goes to. The Dodgers, of course, it's Cody Bellinger. I don't know how rare these are, but they seem to be. Well, I haven't seen one yet, so pull that. Uh, there's Jose Altuve to 149. And Promising Pros, Materials, and Signatures, Braden Shipley for the Diamondbacks. Uh, Michael Gabay with that one. He's pretty promising. There you go. And next stack. we got Brandon Woodruff. Autograph for the Brew Crew. Ryan Fisher with the Brewers. Rory, what can you tell us about... Ryan Fisher gets that one. Rory, what can you tell us, tell us about Brandon Woodruff? There's Nolan Arenado to 999. Unless you're driving. Don't answer if you're driving. Eddie Matthews. For the Brew Crew. I've heard of him. He's pretty good. No, that's for the uh, Milwaukee Braves. Uh, no Otani autographs as of yet. We found one insert, Max. But no Otani autograph as of yet. So no no bounty being collected at the moment. There's Mookie Betts to uh, $9.99. There's David Dahl for the Rockies. Uh, Rory says he's the top pitching prospect for the Brew Crew. So there you go, Ryan. A little additional information. Straight from the mouth of a Brewers fan. Rockies. Kip Kip Hooray with the Rocks. All right, three boxes to go. This was the Otani insert that we pulled, Max. 111 of 999 Dominator insert. Now, I don't know. I mean, I would, even though it's numbered to 999, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it sells for a decent amount. All right, three boxes to go. I predicted that this break would take about an hour. I think I'm going to get just under that. how long breaks like this takes. Uh, Rory saying, did anybody read the ESPN piece on Ichiro today? I did not. What uh, What did they say? I know that he signed a, or was invited to camp, or signed a one-year deal with the Mariners, something like that. Ichiro going back home.
had an interesting. Uh, well, he's had a great career. I think as a personality, he's been a lot quieter than I think. You know, definitely a lot quieter than a lot of other superstars that have reached his his level. Is there a plate in every box? No, I've not seen a plate in every box. I've just seen one so far. Oh, okay, this is a nice story, well written about his off season in Japan. But is it So Rory tell me this, can he play till like he's fifty? He seems like he's in great shape. You know, maybe he, he can't hold up to the rigors of a hundred and sixty two game season, but but I feel like alright, see the boss man. I feel like he could just he, he could still kind of you know, be an effective player, enough to keep on a roster for many years to come. That's his plan? To go to to go to fifty. When's the last time a ball player got regular playing time at the age that that late of an age? Not very many, I'd I'd argue. <laughs> What's funny is that is that it'll be it'll it'll be Ichiro and it'll be Bartolo Colon who are who are still playing when they're fifty years old. I can't think of two more diametrically opposed body types. Yet those two guys will be playing until <laughs> they're, till they're 50 years old. Adrian Beltre, out of 312, it looks like. Will Myers, out of 438. There's some random numbers here. Oh, that's 438 is a slugging percentage. That's what it is. At 312, that's his average right there. I, that gets it. Yeah, to, two totally different sides of the fitness spectrum. That goes to show uh, how beautiful of a sport baseball is. There's Ozzy Alvius for the Braves. That'll be for DVD. Last Spot Mojo strikes again. Mount Marvel, Shohei Otani. Out of three forty nine, that probably goes for like a million dollars, Jeff. So a couple nice inserts. There's Juan Marichal. There's Max Scherzer to 149. Reggie Jackson to 430. 490, that was his career slugging percentage. It's pretty good. Elite Series, Mike Trout to 999. This might be the one season where people might be disappointed to get Mike Trout autographs this year. Tyler Duffy, promising pros relic for the Twins. Karen with the Twins. Shohei Otani, oh, no autograph. Promising prose materials, though. Shohei Otani for the Angels. Ooh, I thought we hit that bounty. But another nice one for Jeff. Player used material, of course, not game used yet. Yeah. Donner's Baseball teasing us there. Another Team USA player out of 999. And we've got Nelson Cruz to 323. Career home runs, 323. All right, two boxes to go. 
It looks like it might go just a little over the hour mark, but I think I'll, I'll know what pace I need to go at uh, for next time. Well, we only have one half of this case left, folks. That's already on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So one last chance for an Otani Bounty. Well, we got two boxes, and then another chance at an Otani Bounty. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Uh, I forget what team he played for in Japan. Off the top of my head. Dragons? Maybe Eric is thinking? He saw he saw a 60 minutes piece on him. I honestly don't I honestly don't remember. Carp, perhaps? There's a team called the Carp out there. Oh, the Nippon Ham Fighters, that's what it was. I think Darvish came out of there too, if I'm not mistaken. I think Darvish came from the, that same team. All right, good luck everybody. Here we go, no Otani autograph yet. A couple inserts and, uh, and a nice relic. But no auto yet, no bounty yet. Maybe this box. Ian Happ to 199. We've got Jacob deGrom. Oh, nice patch there. Nice uh, nice jersey. Camo look going to the Mets. That'll be for Bulldog fan, Will. With that one. Let's put that there. Mound Marvels, Clayton Kershaw. That's out of 9.99. Kershaw had a nice couple... Good couple innings today. Eric Gonzalez for uh, the Indians, the Tribe. Charles Fergie with the Tribe. Oh, TJ saying there's only eight left in the next Donruss baseball break. That's our last half, folks. We don't have any more after that. Harmon Killebrew out of 500. There's Jose Ramirez, Elite Series, out of 249, another one for the Tribe. And Clint Frazier, autograph, nice. Nice Clint Frazier. Clint Frazier, former Indian, I, if I'm not mistaken. He went to the Yankees in the Andrew Miller deal, I think. Uh, but that goes to the Yankees, of course. That'll go to Chad. There you go, Chad. Trey Turner out of 349 for the Nationals. Juan with that one. Odubel Herrera. Out of 238 total bases. Reggie Jackson. Nope, not <laughs> Reggie Jackson. Jackie Bradley Jr. Out of 500. I don't know what I was reading a previous card. I'm Ron Burgundy. Wow, down to two now. Uh, 
another Team USA card. And that is that. One box to go. Good luck, everybody. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, Pick Your Team 2 for the uh, football break must have sold out already, right? Yes, that's already sold out, so that's probably the next break that's going to happen. And then after that will probably be another... Uh, our last half case break of Donner's Baseball. Last chance for uh, Otani autograph and the bounty. Then after that, I'm sure we'll knock out a lot more, uh, probably finish off the night with a bunch of contenders optic football. It's good that I'm glad that we're getting these, uh, these sort of longer, uh, the, these longer heftier breaks out of the way first. So then we can just get into a nice groove with the, uh, with the shorter big hit breaks and that Contenders Optic Football that just came out today as well. So thanks, everybody. Jaspieshobbyland.com. That's where, that's where everything is if you're just joining us. Oh, sold out, says Mike. And Rory saying he, he got he either got the uh, last spot or the second to last. All right, we'll check orders after uh, after I finish this break and put this break away. Almost done, folks. Thanks for hanging with me. So this break is gonna be just over an hour, but I'm sure the next one I'll get it just under an hour. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Let's fly through these. Uh, Gary Sanchez, press proof to 99. There's Joey Votto. To 49. There's Adam Jones to 251. Career homers? Yeah, career homers. And Rod Carew to 331. That's his average in 1980. Aaron Judge. To 999, long ball leaders. We got Adalberto Mejia, promising pros materials for Karen and the Twins. Nice relic. A little bit of a pinstripe there, too. That jersey. Should have a couple more hits to go. There's Eric Thames for the Brewers to 199. There's Max Scherzer to 3, 4, 249. American Pride Team USA card, Jeremy Ehrman. 105 out of 249. Those will be randomized as a lot later. Oduble Herrera to 199. Francis Martes, promising prose material for the 
Astros. There you go. Stroh's relic going to. Who got randomized? Yeah, Chris Parent got randomized the Astros. Should be expecting an autograph, I think, usually. Is that it? It is. 9 out of 25, Miguel Andujar, who has actually been having a great spring. Could he crack the Yankees roster, 25-man roster on the opening day? Maybe. Andujar for Chad. There's Out of This World, out of uh, 149. Still Diamondbacks edition of J.D. Martinez. And that is that. All right, folks. So thanks for uh, thanks for hanging with me here. Nice break. Here are the few Otanis. I right, no ink, but some nice relics. Let's do some randomizers. Uh, the other, so all the uh, San Diego chicken cards and other non-sports cards, if any, will be randomized to the uh, top person in the randomizer, and the second person will get any and all of these uh, Team USA cards. So all the Team USA cards are in one lot. So let's do a quick randomizer there. Let's flip back to this screen right here. Michael G down to Juan. Let's roll the dice three times, two and a one. One, two, and three. After three times, Ryan Fisher, you'll get the uh, non-sports or the other stuff. And DVD, you'll get all the Team USA guys after three times. There you have it, folks. That was a brand new release, 2018 Panini Donruss Baseball. Half case, random team break number one. Our second and last half is on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.